that I am prophesying to you. In 2022, it's going to be a year of upgrade in your most successful year if you make a decision that Satan is not going to rob from you. If it, I mean, you should just get irate yeah. and say, Satan, you have tried to kill me. Maybe your family member, something bad has happened. Don't let that define you, however. You're alive now. And you make a decision, you're going to go up from here. I, I tell you, 22 is so important. This, you think about it, February 2nd, 2022. Two, 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 two. When will that ever happen? Not in our lifetime. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so we, we have to understand what God is saying. Right. Because Satan will convince us that everything will fall apart. Everything's going uh, to hell in a handbasket. You know, but we're not going with it. No. No. Okay, we're not going to go there. And so I want to say the Lord wants to make this ministry a sign and a symbol of what can happen. And you're going to be here as long as God wants you here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And so, you know, so so uh, don't cooperate with with the devil. Yeah. I, I wrote this Good. down. The, this year signifies alignment. And the Lord is going to do visible things in 2022. And the alphabet, the Hebrew alphabet, listen, it's made of 22 letters. Jewish oh. people will see that Jesus is the Messiah on a large scale. Yes, We've been I waiting for this. We're yes. waiting for this. Amen, Say amen everyone. Amen. In addition, this in will agreement. be a back to the Bible year with a fresh emphasis on Scripture. Two. Tell me about two. Do you know anything about two? The number two itself? No, I know about 22, but, t I mean, two would mean you're not alone, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, two are better than Well, he said the word it, it's not <laughs> two with, with that man. Maybe some of you are going to meet your husband or wife. Yeah, year. that's right. Believe for it. You know, I've had friends, I mean, they just say I'm old. You know, I'm never married. And they're finding they're the love in their They're not saying you're old. They're just saying that they are <laughs> well, old, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm 70. I'm not <laughs> young. Yeah, <laughs> now Cindy just had a, now you said it, Cindy. We didn't say it. I know. You know she just I've had, had a big seven. But to me, two is the power of agreement. Amen. Yes, it is. He says if two agree. Amen. If two agree as touching anything that they ask, it will be done for them of our Father in heaven. Amen. So let this be a power of agreement. Two, two, two. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I wrote, Jesus quoted Psalm 22 from the cross. Mm. In the midst of great pain and suffering, the persecuted church will be a beacon of light to the world. And speaking of that, you know, you're holding that book, Reformers I am. Arise. Incredible. Your brand new book, Cindy. Yeah. You talk about Reformers Arrive, your prophetic strategy for bringing heaven to earth. What do you mean by that? Well, I want to say to you that, that many times we're pretty ignorant in the body of Christ. You know, we don't know what we can do to make a difference. You know, uh, uh, a friend of mine signed a pledge to be a reformer. And she said, I don't even know how to do this. I don't know how I'm going to eradicate poverty. I don't know how I'm going to make a change. And now she is working with real estate developers to, they're buying properties that slum lords have owned for a long time in Dallas, in South Dallas, yeah. and they're totally redoing them. A whole, the whole region of South Dallas is being redone. That's incredible. Which was, you know, if you oh, know anything about oh, Christ for the Nation, I do. Of, course, been, Ricky of course, Ricky was Ricky there. Went oh, there. Yeah. We were down Rough South area. Dallas. Rough but, area. But it is changing. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the Upper Room has bought property. The church, the Upper Room of South Dallas, our church, Trinity. Yeah, Trinity. We're mm -hmm. in revival, mm -hmm. a massive revival. But we're also doing projects that are eradicating poverty. Incredible. And, and, you know, churches are now buying property and growing food in food deserts. Do you know your city might have a food desert? I mean, people can't get food to eat. They right. don't have the ability, especially fresh food. And so I want to say to you, make your life count. Now, I yeah. wrote Reformers Arise because people live and die and never know their destiny. Yeah. You live and die and they never know. You could be a great change agent. You, you know, like some people are content to just veg out and watch television all day or watch videos or this or that. But I want to say, don't do that. Make a difference. 